today checking on the immigration status of employees. Now that shakedown included a handful of stores here in Oregon and Washington. Jennifer Dowling going beyond the headlines tonight and you talked to those stores locally about the situation. Jennifer? I did. I called around 13 stores in the metro area and the employees I was able to get in touch with, well, they tell me they were not targeted. However, they were very aware of that crackdown. I have no comment at this time. I'm sorry. No. This was a scene in Koreatown, LA, as ICE agents in plain looking clothes went inside a 7 Eleven and requested verification from employees. You know, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. The cashier had a valid green card, and ICE agents moved on without detaining anyone. They did leave an audit notice behind, indicating they'd return to check paperwork dealing with employment status. Intimidating the, uh, the owner, the workers, you know, and now the clients. In total, 98 stores nationwide were targeted and 21 people arrested under suspicion they were here illegally. ICE released a statement saying, we need to make sure that employers are on notice that we are going to come out and ensure that they're being compliant. For those that don't, we're going to take some very aggressive steps. While there were no immediate arrests made at 7-Elevens here, audit notices were served at four Oregon stores and two in Washington. How are you doing? At this 7-Eleven in Portland, team leader Josh Stone says they did not receive a visit from Homeland Security. All right, it's going to be three seventy for you. But he feels the situation is simply a sign of the times. It's not a surprise that it's happening, I guess, so it's... It seems like it's it's the norm these days. He's also confident his store has its paperwork in order should agents stop by. It doesn't bother me now. They can, they can do whatever they need to do. To Employees at three other stores in the metro area echoed that sentiment. An employee in southeast Portland said if ICE agents come, they are ready. If that's what they have to do to, you know, to do their job correctly, then I'm, I'm all for it. And the 7-Eleven corporate offices did issue a statement today about the raids. They said 7-Eleven requires all franchise business owners to comply with all employment laws. This requires the franchisees to verify work eligibility in the U.S. prior to hiring. Now, owners who do receive an audit notice from these raids today, well, they have three business days to get that paperwork in order before ICE agents might come by again to check their employment status of their employees. Back to you.